Hey, what's up guys? I just got back from premiere night. I went and saw The Batman and I am really psyched about that movie. So I went and grabbed my camera and I just want to talk to you guys about it because I thought it was like the most cinematic Batman movie I've ever seen. So I grabbed my camera, turned on uh, some lights. I'm going to write down some notes here in a little bit and then um, I'll cut to when when we start talking about the movie, but if you haven't seen it, there's gonna be like full spoiler. Let me get in frame real quick. Um, okay, is this, does this look okay to you guys? Okay, good. Okay, so um, I really wanna talk about it because I thought the movie was really good and uh, I just, it's fresh in my mind right now. I'm kind of like still like freaking out about the movie, so uh, you know, pardon me, but uh, I, I just wanna really talk about it because it's like, fresh in my mind and I thought it was really awesome so I'm gonna write down some stuff real quick and then we'll talk about it so with that being said there's gonna be uh, full spoilers uh, from here on out uh, I went by myself cuz uh, my friends just I don't, I don't know they don't go to movies very much I guess or at least as much as me or they don't really uh, come to think of it do very much of the same stuff that I do. So anyways, let's just get to the video. I'm gonna go grab my uh, notepads and stuff. So, and then we'll talk about it here in a second. So full spoilers ahead, okay? Okay, just to show you guys, it is premiere night. Hopefully you guys can see that. Uh, it is March 3rd. Uh, it's 11.58 right now. Uh, because earlier when I said I got back from the premiere, that's before I took a few notes, which didn't take that long because I'm just going to mostly talk about um, this specific film, not like any of the other films. I'm not going to do my whole like other notes things or anything, but um, okay, so we'll just start and get into the video right now. Uh, by, by the way, if for whatever reason you missed like the spoiler warning, this is like full spoilers, okay? So click off it, go see the movie, and then come back. And once you've come back, then like we'll talk about it like you've seen the movie. Because that's what I want to do is like talk about it like you guys have seen it, okay? So my first like impressions was like, like the cinematics, okay? Like, you know, just from like the opening scene and stuff. And uh, the coloring really like stuck out to me because it had like this really minimalistic coloring to it But yet like the colors that were showing up were like very vibrant, but not like oversaturated uh, So that's that that stuck out to me And it, it didn't feel like it started like every other Batman movie I guess because like in the beginning there's just like the Batman and like the red title and everything but I, I would say uh, like this Batman overall kind of felt like a Batman meets John Doe from Seven. I don't know if you guys have seen that movie but I thought like this movie definitely gave like a Seven vibe because of like what the Riddler does and with his clues and like what it all leads to and what it all means and everything. Like if, if John Doe from Seven like met Jigsaw that's like uh, what I thought of filmed and produced and directed maybe by the people that made The Crow and I normally wouldn't throw that out there like that because I love The Crow but like I kind of got like a The Crow vibe from like that movie because like a lot of it was really rainy. Here's my notes by the way uh, like that I just wrote down quick and this is all I want to talk about because I don't want to make this like a 20 minute video or anything but this is just like my first impressions like okay so like I thought like, it was filmed a lot like The Crow, you know, cause it was like really rainy and everything. And if it cuts a lot, that's because I'm editing it to try to make it shorter for you guys. And it starts out with um, Robert Pattinson like narrating. The thing about Robert Pattinson's Batman that I thought about in this movie was that he, he seems like he feels alone. I don't know, I can't explain it. Uh, hopefully you guys saw the movie and like you guys can talk to me about it But like he doesn't say that much in the movie, but like he always seems like he's he like feels alone But like chooses to be alone and I would know like all about that and I'm not trying to sound depressing or anything But like that's kind of like what I do like I'm always like alone, but I kind of choose to be uh, so like that aside so, so his 
uh, how Robert Pattinson is playing this, maybe, is that it always seems like he feels alone, right? So like he doesn't say very much, and I know like I like some people might critique that he's not doing very much, but uh, it made me think of like when Tom Holland was talking about playing Spider-Man in a full suit with like no facial expressions, like. Tom Holland has to do like extra movements to just make it more dramatic or whatever but like just to make it enunciated like what he's trying to like project and I think like Robert Pattinson like does an amazing job at that and I'll get to the cast part later because I, I always thought that Robert Pattinson would be like a really good Batman and he he is so going down the list I was talking about the cinematics earlier there's like a scene where uh, Catwoman like leaves uh, the nightclub and sh and Batman follows her taxi and then it like has this amazing shot of like Catwoman's like face and stuff and then like uh, before the next cut to the next scene um, it, it like does the you know focus shift to uh, Batman uh, Bruce Wayne or you know in a, in a motorcycle following Catwoman uh, be, from behind the taxi and it's just like absolutely amazing I, I just I was sitting there just like in awe like if, if it does that well where it catches my attention when I'm sitting in a movie theater obviously because that's all we're looking at but it like stuck out to me okay so I you know I just saw the movie and I'm trying to keep everything as fresh as possible uh, would Batman ever be by like the bat signal and it like would show Gotham from like the tower that where the bat signal is I always or I thought those cinematics were done very well you know with the bokeh and everything you know whether he was meeting uh, Gordon or or Catwoman up there also when they capture the Riddler the, well they kind of capture him because you know he they, they get like a tip or something that he's at this diner or whatever but there's a scene where like Riddler's being captured and you know he's being apprehended and then he like gets his head slammed on the table and then he like looks out the the diner window and yes it's raining and everything and he can see Batman and like the way like that was filmed was like um, really cool because it was like you can see kind of like a polarizer if you know what that is if you're into cameras you can see like reflections and everything and then like when it starts to get focused onto Batman and you can like see the, the reflections of the window I thought that was done very well it was really cool but I thought like the musical score was really good it actually kind of like perked me up out of my seat it emotionally like uh, lifted up more uh, I just I was like wow this is like really really good music there's not a whole lot of action in this movie I mean there is but it's it's a three-hour movie right like uh, it's very serious and I don't even know if uh, Robert Pattinson smiles in this movie um, it, instead of like dialogue he just you know has like these things that he looks at and and I personally appreciate that kind of stuff because in like it leaves it for us to kind of like think of like how we would be in that situation so like that sort of connection to me it's like I think about that and like the way it wants to be portrayed is the way I think like most of you will probably think of it too like if if you know what I mean like when he sees the kid oh crap I forgot exactly which character it was that dies when they find like his body in the beginning and it was because the kid found it and then like that kid like kind of plays like this like small spots and throughout like the rest of the movie you know Batman like looks at this kid but he doesn't like say anything you know and this isn't an origin story so we don't know what he's thinking but since we're like fans of Batman we like look and then he's like wow now this kid is like um, an orphan maybe well I, don't, I can't remember what happened with the mom but like you know now he's probably thinking like well I know what this kid feels like right now because this happened to me and you know there's just this moment where nothing's being said but just Batman like looks at this kid and like that made me literally like <gasps> you know in the theater like oh like he, there's no dialogue but I just understand 
what they're trying to do in the scene, and it I think they captured it perfectly. Also, I, this review is like all all over the place. Also, uh, you know, um, same thing, you know, at the end when they're in that auditorium and like everything floods and he's reaching out for that you know new mayor Batman is Batman's reaching out for that new mayor and she's like standing there because he like moves all that debris out and then he's like reaches out for that new mayor and then like did you guys think the same thing like they're like uh you know like because Batman doesn't seem to be very trusted by anyone I guess except for Gordon for the most of the movie and then all of a sudden like like towards his hand comes like out another hand and I was like oh, it's no oh, yes it's the kid no way you know that's what I thought and I, I thought that was just like really cool because like that kid I don't even know if he says anything but it's just uh the symbolism for that you know how for Batman like there's no dialogue right so like just the emotion that's like portrayed right there is like really cool okay so uh, another thing is the Batmobile. Uh, <laughs> did you guys hear when that started up? Like, I haven't been that like excited about a um, Batmobile startup since the Tumblr, right? Uh, I'm not gonna look up what year that was. It was a long time ago. I mean, are you guys kidding me? Like, when when that started up, I was like, no, yes, but like, no, that. That's the Batmobile, because obviously we saw it in like trailers and everything. But when they were trying, he was trying to do, like have a distraction for Catwoman, and all of a sudden, like you felt that like rocket like start to wind up and everything. Or I, I know it doesn't wind up, but um, when it goes through like its stages for boosting, uh, when that Batmobile started, I literally like grabbed my face, and I'm not just trying to be like dramatic right now or anything, but I was like, <gasps> like. That's the Batmobile, isn't it? That's the Batmobile. No, like, I just kept doing that in my head. <laughs> the people behind me were probably like, this kid, is, or I'm not a kid, but like, this guy is like freaking out. But like, I, did you guys? I mean, that was, that was sick, right? Like, okay, let's, let's move on. The Batmobile was cool. That whole sequence was really awesome. Like, like I said, the cinematics, the film work, uh, it was just really awesome with that whole entire scene and wow I am getting uh, I'm looking at the time on my recording and I am getting uh, This is turning out to be a very long video. Okay, so um, Colin Farrell as uh, the penguin, you know who he's chasing in that scene. That was pretty cool uh, Colin Farrell like I kind of forgot that he was in Batman and like the reason why I say I kind of forgot and I'm like, oh, you're a Batman fan, but you didn't know Colin Farrell was in it. Yeah, I do. I remembered that he was in it like um, when I watched Hot Ones today and I was like, oh, that's right. He is in it. And it's like, why well, didn't you know that? It's because I like try to stay away from like um, any spoiler. OK, uh, there's like a pretty big spoiler in this movie that I'm not even going to tell you guys because like I want you guys to like discover it. Hopefully, like you probably sh should have discovered it by now, but just in case someone really doesn't want to see the movie and they just want to see this review, I'm not going to give like a big spoiler out there. Oh, also with the, uh, you know, the car chase though, I thought the motorcycle riding was really cool between like Catwoman and Batman. Like it like really made me want a motorcycle, but uh, I just thought that was just a really cool, you know, the, the scenes when there are other motorcycles, I just thought that was really cool. Okay, I already talked about the kid, I talked about the music. I think this whole film works out very great. Like it's, it does what it wants to do very well. And like, like really let me know what you guys think. I mean, I'm not just trying to get comments on this video or anything, but like, what did you guys think? Like I, I thought for a three hour movie and like there, it wasn't like all this flash about Bruce Wayne. It was like Batman trying to track like the Riddler down, like, you know, Gotham's a shit show and, and you know, it's, like he says that in the beginning, you know, it's like Halloween in the beginning and like Gotham's this shit show and he's like trying to be, trying to keep it as clean as possible, I guess. But you get to see him go through a lot of the struggles with that. So, okay, that's my thoughts, my first impressions or whatever. Hopefully you guys get to see it this weekend or as soon as you can. Uh, if you can't, just hopefully you don't get any spoilers. Okay, 
Uh, <laughs> I've probably kept you guys around uh, way longer than I wanted to, so yeah, let me know what you guys think of it. Okay, I'm gonna let you guys go, alright? Talk to you later.